A single COVID case in New Zealand, not a death from COVID, but a case of COVID, has shut down the entire country. New Zealanders have now been told they are not allowed to speak to their neighbours. Stay local and do not congregate. Don't talk to your neighbours. Please keep to your bubbles. It comes down again to those very simple principles. So keep those movements outside to the bare minimum. Wear a mask and make sure you keep up that physical distancing. Don't talk to your neighbours. Stay in your bubble. That's New Zealand. But it's freer than Australia. In Australia, the government has implemented total lockdowns nationwide and then imposed martial law to enforce those lockdowns. What's the justification for this? Well, here are the numbers. From mid-July until last week, the entire nation of Australia, that's 25 million people, has averaged about one and a half COVID deaths per day out of 25 million people. And that has been enough to justify the end of Australia and totalitarianism. In one recent case, which really does say it all, authorities executed rescue dogs, shot the dogs to death to prevent Australian dog lovers from traveling to adopt the dogs. Leaving your home is no longer allowed. So they just killed the dogs. And the population put up with it. They were told they had to. Nightly news in Australia now looks like a science fiction film. One recent report described a 27-year-old fugitive. Was he a mass killer? No. He had dared to venture outside of his apartment complex. For doing that, for leaving the building, the media showed surveillance footage of the man entering an elevator and then, brace yourselves, sneezing without covering his face. There was no one else in the elevator at the time. For that, there is now a nationwide manhunt underway. An arrest warrant for this man has just been issued. We're not making this up. And that man is not the only person the Australian media and police are hunting for tonight. One Australian news outlet just reported, and we're quoting, a tip to Crime Stoppers has blown the lid on a church service attended by 60 adults and children. The gathering has been described as selfish and arrogant, end quote, for going to church. So what else in Australia is now considered, quote, selfish and arrogant? It's not just going to church or leaving your apartment or trying to adopt a dog. Watching the sunset is also selfish and arrogant. Watch. There's a whole bunch of people down the Rye Back Beach last night who thought the best thing to do is to go and watch the sunset. I'm sure it was a beautiful sunset. But that's not in the spirit or in, or, or in the letter of these rules. Scolded for watching the sunset, executing rescue dogs, a nationwide manhunt for a guy who sneezed alone in an elevator. No one in Australia is laughing at this. No one can stand back far enough to see the lunacy on display. They're too far gone. This has been in the works for a long time, by the way. A situation like this does not happen overnight, long before COVID. In 2016, the government of Australia ended almost all legal protections for public protests. And at the time, people tolerated it. They trusted their government. They didn't think it was necessarily a big deal. So on Saturday this weekend, as protesters gathered in Melbourne, the government used its new authority to silence them. If that were Iran, if that footage was shot in Tehran over the weekend, we'd all chug our tug our chins and say, of course, the mullahs, they're not like us. But it's not Iran. It's not North Korea. It's Australia, what we thought was a rules-based society. What law did I break, you heard the protester ask as he's being beaten and handcuffed. That might have been a good question to ask a few years ago, but of course now it's too late. And you can see what happens when a nation tolerates authoritarianism, even for a moment. 
So you can either rebel immediately and say, we're not putting up with this. I'm sorry, we're free people in a free country. San Francisco did that in 1918 when the hypocrisy of their leadership became obvious. Or you can sit back and watch it accelerate. And in the end, you'll wind up like Australia and they'll shoot your dog.